In response to escalating school unrest, over 170 secondary school principals gathered at Kerugoya Boys High School in Kirinyaga to tackle the surge in student strike. With key education and security officials in attendance, the meeting aimed to develop strategies for detecting and addressing the root causes of the strikes in a bid to ensure existence of a safe learning environment. Over 170 secondary school heads in Kirinyaga County congregated at Kerugoya Boys High School to discuss the recent cases of school strikes following the cases of Kerugoya Boys and Karia Boys schools being closed indefinitely after students burnt down dormitories. In the meeting that brought together essential stakeholders in security and education, Andrew Naibay, County Police Commander, emphasized the need for school principals to take charge of the happenings in their schools. You will know each of your students, each of your teachers, each of your staff. It's not hard for you. Have your own structures to get intelligence. If you can have one of your staff in the, one of the staff, and have a student in each class, you'll always be getting uh, those intelligence and have suggestion boxes. In the meeting, indiscipline among students was highlighted among the major causes of school strikes, which tend to take place during the second term of school. While speaking at the convention, Kirinyaga County Education Officer Lydia Mutegi expressed that it was crucial for school heads to listen to students' grievances and involve them in the formulation of school rules. Sometimes some of the unrest which are happening in the schools, we have found out that you do not give learners opportunities to express their dissatisfactions, their problems, and so the, the, the problems accumulate and accumulate until now they pass out. Seeing that during most cases of fires, school principals were not within the compound, Sabina Aroni, Central Region Director of Education, advised principals to stay in their schools. I know it's not all schools that have houses, principals' houses in the school. But as much as possible, those of us who have those houses now, because we must contain a situation, let us stay in the school compound. Let us also have our deputies stay in the school compound. Head of Fire Department John Kiyama shared the hotline number 0177 234 567 to allow schools to have direct communication with the fire department and shorten response time. Natalie Kyoko, KUTV.